Well folks, I've had a busy year here so far with repair work, but I did want to get a quick startup video up for you guys, and this is a Ford Flathead V8 water pump that I picked up from an estate that we had cleaned out. It's an old irrigation pump from a farm, and I don't know the year of the Flathead or anything like that. I'm really not up to par on the Ford V8s or anything like that, but I think it'd be pretty darn cool if we can get the thing to kick up and, and fire up. So I went ahead and cleaned up the points. We do have good spark and everything. I also pulled out all the plugs and put down a mixture of ATF and diesel fuel to kind of get everything lubed up. It does roll over. I don't know if everything has compression, but we are going to find out and see what happens. The radiator on this thing is junk. It doesn't hold water or anything. There's some pipes down below that hooked into the water pump, which I think cycled through the radiator. And as you guys can see, the elbow at one point had either rotted or snapped off the bottom. So unfortunately, it's not going to hold any water. So I can't run this thing for that long. But if I decide to, I can always stuff the hose into the water jacket and just let the thing idle like that. So anyways, let's get to it and see if we can get this thing to crank up. All right, plugs are all back in. So let's see about getting a fuel tank rigged up on here someplace. Plummet down into the fuel pump. Oh, I should wind the clamp up first, save a little bit of time. All right, so we'll use our usual test tank here. We can clamp it to the hood up top. which works out slick because it's an easy route right down to the fuel pump. Right down here behind the oil filter. So it doesn't have far to go. Unfortunately, it's not gonna reach with this piece. So just to get this to fit over there, I'm just gonna put a spur fitting into the line coming down from the tank. right like so because it doesn't have to be anything special and this thing almost makes it over to the fuel pump right there and I'm just going to take another small piece of line from the hose that was on it and bring that over to our fuel pump because I know this thing's got a gas tank on the front of it but I guarantee you that it's probably shot from as long as this thing's been sitting around outside for Okay, so I cleaned out the fuel bowl on the fuel pump, the sediment bowl, and I got a new gasket in there. I'm taking a gamble on this carburetor because I really don't want to open it up because I don't have any gaskets for it. So hopefully that'll take fuel and distribute it all right. And, and the next thing I'm going to do is cut this exhaust off here because there's no sense in firing up a V8 engine with a big muffler on it so we can hear it. So I'll get this off of here, then we'll be ready to put some gas in it and see if the thing will crank up. I am trying to do this in such a way where I can save this elbow. It's a nice piece of bent exhaust pipe that I can use on something else someday. All right, there we go. <laughs> that should sound a whole heck of a lot better. Unfortunately, I think the sun might be messing with you guys a little bit, but we'll try that. See how it does. 
at least you're on the side of the exhaust, that's the main thing. I got nothing coming through the accelerator pump. I don't know if it just filled up the carburetor or it filled up the lines, but we'll crank it over a few times and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> not bad. Starter gear might be hanging up. Before we get too warm here. Got good oil pressure too, but something's clanging in this pump. It's loose. Bad for an old Ford Flathead V8, folks. I'd reckon to say it's got a couple of stuck valves that are open, but aside from that, he's up and running again. Nice.
Yeah.